I wanted to just mention there's a networking conference going on. I was I, I happened to be at the university yesterday. You love that place, don't you? Well, I got I check it out every so often. <laughs> That's just third home. You, you checked it out last week as well, didn't you? No, a couple of weeks ago. Before. Yeah, I remember well, you I going. Well, I, I, I do try and pick up an actual copy of Expose. It is very interesting. Expose, so, and they do. I think they're supposed to do one every fortnight. So maybe I'm, you're thinking about going going back to university at your own age. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe, <laughs> but they don't. You see, it's all very focused now. This is great. Universities, they don't do sort of evening courses in something interesting that people might turn up <laughs> for six weeks. They do MSc courses for twenty grand a time. So that sort of thing. So, yeah, but you seem which to be is a bit wasted on. You seem to be terribly interested at university. Well, I am interested. Yeah, no, I'm. Tra- I'm, tra- I'm. I think universities are, ver- are very significant, <laughs> and also, what's your okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what's what's going on at the moment? They're they at a phase, I think, where they've 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 spent the money on the buildings, which has got them to another level. It's not just the buildings, obviously, but their their reputation has gone up. But now I don't I don't know how how the buildings are being paid for or how many years they think they've got to pay it off and it's, it just seems to me it's a lot of um, if it is all being done through fees on uh, degrees is the, 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 the amount they have, have been spending and are still spending there's a, there's a new building going up which is a 50 million project uh, which probably is going to get a lot of research funding but it, it just seems it's, there's, there's a tension in, in the place at the moment I think because they're talking about the professional services being uh, reduced or rationalised in some way. Uh, anyway, look, that we're, go- we're going a bit off topic because um, what I thought was, as I've understood the, the agenda, uh, between 10 and 10.30, there's a talk about wireless cities. which Wireless cities? Wireless cities, yes, by a couple of people from Cambridge. And I've, I've, found, I've done a bit of Googling and they, they've, they've worked on Wi-Fi coverage of a cycling event. I would like to be there, really. Well, we had, we had, we had a cycling event in Exeter, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we had that. Um, we had the tour of... I think ours was the tour of Britain and the tour of France, for some reason, goes to yeah, Cambridge. Yeah, but this city sounds interesting. Well, yeah, very interesting. I've, I've sent a tweet on... on it's NWS43. If you, if you look for the hashtag NWS43... I'm sure they will. Well, I'm sure they're looking at it. I'm just mentioning this to our listeners. Right. Because we've got another, at the moment, we've got another 20 minutes to magically make a connection between FM radio and um, the Twitter land or the conference. I'm sure there are people even now live blogging the wireless city. Wouldn't you think? There are. There are. <laughs> you <just> look at <laughs> it. Including you. Including, well, I, I, I can't live blog what's happening on. Oh, look, two new results. Uh, somebody wants help with their open university research project and there's career development oh yeah now that those both look good I'm going to, re- I'm going to retweet both of those I, I am will 789GB <laughs> we do debate that sometimes folks well yeah I know JD you, th- you think I should have a better sense of my own identity I know no, no, no. which planet are you on uh, Go on, that would mean you don't think very much my identity is, <laughs> what do you think of my identity well, <laughs> well you, you, you are John Mayhew aren't you yeah I'm just at Jonathan Mayhew which, which is a very good identity I'm not I'm not um I'm not Jonathan May nineteen ninety three or anything like that. I'm just no. at I'm just at Jonathan Mayhew. That's my personal account. And can I just make something very, very clear? Yes. I don't know where it's where Go a bit where, close to the microphone. I don't know where it's from. No. But I decided that if you Google my name, Jonathan Mayhew, that's J O N A T H A N M A H Y into Google. Yeah. I'm a, I'm actually my Twitter page is there. Loads of images are, is are there are there of yeah. me and it's all on top of Google most people pay thousands of pounds <laughs> to be on top of Google I've actually oh, yes, go, go, do but, it now well, I, 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 I won't do it now because I'm, I'm trying to stay, stay part, I, part of the, the wireless city you know at this time so, this crucial time between 10 and 10.30 but, right, but, but, but you've done very well yeah, well, to but, be top of the result there but, must be 
there, are, there must be at least four or five other Jonathan Mayhews on the planet who are very upset by this news. Well, yeah, because I, I, I haven't really, I haven't, I, I, haven't paid, I, haven't, I haven't paid any money to be on top of you. No, no. So it's a, no. Well, we'll keep at it. You uh, see. Yes. We'll keep at it, and we'll keep we'll keep all these. T- but at the moment, we're going with sl- um, sl- hash sign NWS forty three, <laughs> because if they're talking about a wireless city. There's hope for the wireless studio, which is what we really want. Well, we find the cables very reliable, generally oh. speaking. Oh, I don't. Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. um, right, no, John. I, John, uh, I, can I just say this is? Oh, well, I will say it's Phonic FM, one hundred six point eight, with a fabulous studio. It's an FM oh, studio. Yes, okay, okay, the CD okay. The, stu- have, have the studio, really well. the studio is fabulous, may I say? But I, but me personally, I prefer wireless things. Is that? Right, okay. All right. So well, you would like to be able to come into the studio with your phone and say, hello, studio, I'm now going to play something from my phone. Yeah, I and would. And it would just go out to yeah, FM. Yeah, I would. I'm not, I'm not really interested on how they get them or how it all works. Not no, really. No. I'm just, I, just want, I just want to be able to walk into my studio, yeah. sit down, yeah. have a cup of coffee yeah. in the <laughs> studio and, yeah. and for the music to play out. Right. You know, for there to be a hassle-free, good show for people I don't want any of this like why, why should you know it, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be like that we're living in the 21st century this is very true yes this is very true anyway I'm not I'm, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm the 11th century well I think well, I, mean, just, I, I, I think right, wireless, right, look, I think wireless, look, look, ca- I think yeah. wireless capability is the way to go I, I think I think along with FM signal I think I think I think I think cables are slowly dying as well to be honest well Wi-Fi yeah, is the way to go right well, look, there's, there's no problem. If somebody um, somebody puts a direct signal across the, across the cloud or the networks, that's one thing, that's fine. But what we want is, well, just, just our particular situation here in the following FM studio, we want anybody to come in here with a gadget, a device, whatever, and be able to mix it in. But I'm, I'm now going to play uh, a download that I've, I've, I've just copied this MP3 off the off the site, and I hope this is okay to, to play it. I'm sure I'm sure it is. Uh, this is this is Tim Kidd, and he's summing up day day one, and uh, I, I guess there will later on through Twitter and NWS43 be a link to to another one. Is NetWorkshop 43 just annual technical event for network managers and technical staff in UK research and education? Here, Tim Kidd, Executive Director of Just Technologies, reports back on day one at the event. Hi, I'm Tim Kidd. Uh, I'm Executive Director, JISC Technologies. So that's the part of JISC that provides technology services such as Janet, a video conferencing, a cloud system, security and so on. Well, so far we've, we've opened Network Shop uh, with a bit of a bang, actually. A really interesting talk from Chris Lintott from Oxford University, which was talking about how the network is used in his research, um, astrophysics research as it happens. Uh, but it's just really interesting to think about how people use the sorts of facilities that we provide. We worry about bits and bytes and fibre optic cables and routers and switches. Uh, and our customers worry about how can we turn that into something they can really use to benefit research and education, teaching, and, and make the world a better place generally. So that's been really fascinating. So we've just finished the, uh, the initial session and we are now open for business. The one thing I want to get to is information security. Uh, and it's one of the things I think that's a really key thread for many of our customers. Universities and colleges uh, and our research users are all concerned about how to make sure that information is kept secure. And we live in a world that more and more wants to open things up and show people stuff, give access to data, and at the same time we have to make sure that we really are genuinely taking care of it. I think it's a, it's a matter which exercises lots of minds. And of course, if you get it wrong, it can cause an awful lot of time and effort and cost, as we see in the press um, fairly often uh, now. Nowadays. The key areas that I hope Network Shop this year will help our customers with, there's a number of areas. Clearly there's lots of funding uncertainty in the sectors um, at the moment, and the general election is only heightening our view of what may or may not happen next. And so what we can do from a GIST perspective is provide people with the tools to make uh, it easier to provide services that are more cost effective, more efficient, um, and do the sorts of things they need to do without spending so much money on it. So that's really one of the key things. How do we help people save money and provide the right high quality, brilliant service that they need. And then 
I think there's another thread that's really key for people, which is security, cyber security. It's in everybody's minds, it's in everybody's lips. There's uh, not a day goes by without some expose or discussion in the newspapers about cyber security issues. And we all know that um, cyber security is becoming more and more important, that people are targeting more and more websites and so on to try and make a point and all those sorts of things they do. So a lot of the work that we do from just technology's perspective helps our customers to, to navigate their way through that, gives them solutions to help them do things more effectively and efficiently and help them to offset the issues that the cybersecurity can bring. So there's lots of stuff around that over the next couple of days, actually. And then I think the, the third area possibly links those two together a bit, which is all about cloud service delivery. So how can we ensure that we've got services that are good price, easy to access, navigate your way through all the issues to do with public procurement directives, European public legislation, so that you can get the right service at the right cost quickly and effectively. And again, we have lots of options for people with that and lots of discussions and exhibitors here over the next couple of days who will be helping our university and college colleagues to find their way through that particular maze. So that was, that was yesterday and um, I don't know what else is, is, is going to turn up. There's no, there's no new tweets that I can see coming through relating to us, but um, that's all right. We can follow it up during... Well, John, I, I don't see why, if there's something going on in Exeter, we can't sort of link, link Phonic in with it. And they, no, might, I don't. they might respond, but maybe it will come later. I think it might be good for Phonic. I think they would appreciate the... Uh... Yeah. Thumbs up, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, later today, uh, there's a talk from somebody from the Met Office, I noticed, about big data. So we could follow that up in Exeter any time, I guess. So uh, if, if there are people there, or no, anybody listening knows, knows people at this networking conference, uh, we, can, we can follow up the conversation at a later date. <sighs> yes. Twitter isn't instant, actually. It's quite slow sometimes, we find. What? So they? So when you do a tweet, will they don't? It it doesn't go straight out there. Oh, it goes out there, but oh. nothing happens. But then, well, that might later, be because you, something else happens. That might be because people are not on Twitter at the same time as you. No, no, they're not. Maybe, may, maybe they're in different countries. Maybe, maybe when you tweet, they're sound asleep, or they might be doing something. Well, yes. You know. Yeah, you perhaps know. we have to tweet it again. Well, Later on. Maybe they've got so many tweets that they've just um, not seen um, Will... Well, will, yeah. Will, what what, what well, are your name is? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, maybe they've, they've sort of come to a face-to-face -face event and they're talking to each other. That's that's always quite possible. Very uh, sensible, I would think. You know, but we do know your tweets get out there because we were talking to a radio man at Bet, weren't we? And he... Yeah, I think you knew who he was yeah. previously, anyway. Yeah. But but we, and he and he got your Twitter and he got yeah. your Twitter up, Twitter yeah. feed up. So yeah. you do know it all gets out there. It does eventually. Yeah, yeah. Russell, <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> Bet Radio. Well, it used to be called Bet Radio, and then it was Toshiba Radio for sponsorship reasons. I think we can mention Toshiba now and again. But anyway, we are off to Bet 2016. But that's quite a way off. We are definitely going to go to Bet 2016, and we're also going to go to the Gadget Show. Which is uh, which is next week, next Thursday. Yeah. We are we are off to the gadget show, which will be quite an experience, I, I suppose. We'll, we'll we might be able to we might be able to report on certain radio equipment. And yeah, well, if we I mean, encouraged if the, if this wireless city is a real idea, then not only is there a, a wireless radio studio, but there must be a wireless um, TV studio as well. Yeah. So we'll look out for how they do that. Because the gadget show, um, just to be honest about it, they, they show off these gadgets, but they never show their edit suite or how they get stuff on the TV signal, do they? That's no. still a mystery. Well, some things they probably like to keep secretive. Otherwise, people would be... What you do is follow that big, big cable. It goes out to a, cater, a van outside. Oh. That's what it is. So you think we should study the van? You study the van. That's what we did when it came to Selhain. Right. Um, you stay in the van and then you go back in then you follow the line back in OK <laughs> OK well I'm sure the Gadget Show and the Gadget Show Live they're both, they're both you know it's all going to be very helpful to us mm -hmm. but I'm just saying this idea of a, wire, a wireless city let's in, in Exeter's case let's include the campus because it's not that far away is it 
you know, you can. Well, John, you see, people people at the moment just seem to think of it as a separate space. Yeah. But it isn't really. No. I'm sure you know if we had. A, I, I, I think probably the FM signal 106.8. If you can hear the FM one of if you can hear phonic FM, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, 106.8 anywhere in, on the extra campus. Please let us know. Or if the signal's rather weak, it comes off the top of the Phoenix Art Centre, so it, it should reach you. Uh, www.phonic.fm. So either uh, email us, studio at phonic.fm. Or, or even better, ring us. Well, you can phone in. You and, can phone in. Yeah, and 01392 434 577. Or you or, can send a pigeon. Or send a pigeon. Or tweet <laughs> with hashtag. <laughs> yeah, tweet. Sorry. No, sorry. I'm sorry. The pigeon sorry. and the tweet pigeon. come goes together. Tweet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> tweet with hashtag what? <laughs> no, send, send uh, the hashtag NWS43. We, we will try and... F- Follow that hash line as well, and see if our FM signal is reaching the extra campus. I'm, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. I think it's time to play 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 another track. This is uh, this is Gretchen Peters. When all you've got is a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> 